Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Atma Karak series and today it's the conjunction of Atma Karak with all the nine planets. So if your Atma Karaka is conjunct any particular planet in any of the nine houses, 12 houses with any of the nine planets, then this video is for you. But you may be wondering if it's conjunct two, three, four, five, six planets, what does it mean? Well, that we will discuss some other time because we have to, you know, keep doing the permutation combinations. But in general, if there is a conjunction, you can study this, okay? Now, you need to understand that primarily the Atma Karaka will give results through its own traits, okay? The planetary traits, that's non-negotiable. But if a planet is conjunct, there will be some transfer of traits to the Atma Karaka. And in that area of life, you may tend to behave in a particular way. Let me give you an example. If your Atma Karaka is Venus, Beauty, arts, media, creativity, love, romance, sexuality is a very important part of your life. But if suppose now your Venus is conjunct the sun. So then what it means is you will try to uh, you know, identify yourself as a person more with all these things. Not just as a you know, matter of uh, being happy in life. Your sense of identity itself will also uh, come from Venus because the sun shows identity. All right. So this is an example how you will know. So the traits will be transferable, but uh, it does not mean that if your Atma Karaka is Venus and it is with the sun, sun uh, will become like the dominating planet, which decides the results of the Atma Karaka. It does not happen like that. All right. So we will discuss with all the nine planets and Atma Karaka is the planet with the highest degree in your horoscope. So if you don't know which is your Atma Karaka, go to astrosage.com and get your horoscope for free. And there you, you can see the degrees. If the two planets have same degrees, then you take the minutes. Okay. And the minutes are also sa same. Go, go to the next. Okay. So therefore, uh, you need to understand that uh, the Atma Karak is a very important planet. I have many videos. It shows, you know, your soul's desire, purpose at a soul level. So I have many, many, many videos on the Atma Karak. Please watch them. Only then you will actually know how to study conjunctions of Atma Karaka because it is a bit complicated. It is a bit like advanced astrology. Okay. So if you feel confused, don't worry. Just go through to the other videos and see and then come back and you will understand. Okay. So now. If you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy. And please, somebody put the timestamps, humbly, humble request <laughs> for all the nine planets if you can. And yes, for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So, if your Atma Karak is conjunct the sun, then... This will indicate, you know, you are very self-aware in regards to the Atma Karak. The awareness is much higher. As I said, you know, if your Atma Karaka is Venus and it is conjunct the sun, then it means your awareness of beauty is very high, okay? And there is ego also, like, you know, somebody tells you, oh, you are not looking good, you know, or you are looking older or something like that. <laughs> it will pinch your ego very well, okay? And you will always want authority. So your primary focus, if Venus is the Atma Karak, will be to you know, be creative, uh, express yourself creatively. You know, sometimes uh, also <laughs> run behind members of the opposite sex. Could happen, not for everybody. If the trines are bad, then this can happen. But in general, uh, if uh, your Venus as Atma Karak is conjunct the sun, then it will be personal. It will be a bit more personal, okay? Because the sun shows how you, what kind of things that you have. So your idea of the external existence will come from that, okay? So you will want to establish yourself as an authority. So you will have a strong sense of identity, leadership qualities and ambition. So with Rina Satmakarak and Kanjang the sun, it might happen that you, uh, yeah, you want to, you know, uh, get that, beauty prize or whatever you know miss 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 universe mr universe whatever okay so it can show challenges related to your ego and pride uh where you need to learn some humility because atma karaka shows lesson so if atma karaka is conjunct the sun sometimes you may try to exert your authority in the domain that atma karaka represents and then you may be too forceful and you may be humiliated okay then therefore you need to learn humility so, 
now your soul's journey might to some extent be focused on you know achieving personal power also in that area okay and there could be you know potential issues um related to your atma karaka uh, and uh, this uh, this planet that is conjunct in this case the sun you know so maybe there are some issues between your wife and your father or your husband and your father also it is possible okay because venus in general represents the spouse but for men specifically it represents the wife so if in a man's chart venus is the atma karaka and sun is conjunct venus then this can show there are some issues or maybe the relationship is good but if there is a problem in the no it, it could happen that you know if there's a problem with your father you know somehow your relationship with your wife gets affected and you know, all vice versa okay so it could happen so both will have uh links with each other okay so if one improves the other could improve or sometimes it could be the other way around you know if one is in exaltation and other is in debility for example if sun venus both are in libra uh, okay then we know sun is in debility and venus is in multicorn there okay so therefore it can mean you know that sometimes uh, yeah uh, your when your marriage goes up your relationship with your father goes down okay it could be, could be possible so it depends on the chart you know 9th house 9th lord or any of the shas of course but this is how you can actually study okay what happens now if the atma karaka is conjunct the moon then this is this is very important because the moon is also representing the mind right so this can show that you not only are very much interested in the traits of the atma karak which which is by default because that's the atma karak but now you also try to seek emotional fulfillment through your you know through your uh, through the traits of the atma karak like for example if mercury is your atma karak and your uh, you know your uh, moon is conjunct mercury so anything that goes wrong in your finances or you know your connections your relatives your friends it can get you into depression okay so this is something you should be aware of so uh, moon conjunct the atma karak is a uh, i won't say difficult but it's a critical situation because it will affect you at a soul level and also at a mental level okay so therefore you need to be aware of this and make sure that the traits of the atma karak is running well okay in your life so you could have emotional sensitivity related to the atma karak and you might have a nurturing disposition okay you might want to nurture somebody and you might want to focus on balancing emotions and uh, yeah you need to control your mood swings okay in in respect to that plan okay, okay so suppose you lose your job you get in depression it's something like that you know moon uh, mercury atma karak and uh, moon conjunct with it okay so now there could be some issues related to your motherland and uh, your family related to uh, the atma karak especially okay so suppose if venus is your atma karak and you no know, moon is conjunct venus so then it could happen you know there could be again some issues with your you know spouse and your wife or your husband also <laughs> your mother and your spouse basically okay and uh, yeah there could be some uh, issues like you know uh, your mother is you know, like not supportive of your relationship or maybe your mother has a strong say in the relationship so so either ways mother will be very important okay if moon is conjunct your atma karak and your atma karak if it is venus especially okay now atma karak conjunct mars okay so whenever your atma karak is conjunct mars you will always be very action prone to that to the traits related to that planet so for example you know if venus is again your atma karak and it's with mars so you you can have uh, very aggressive behavior when you are meeting the opposite sex you may you or you may you want to go and pursue them be after them you know yeah i'm uh, be obsessed about you know physical pleasure and all these things okay so if venus is your atma karak and it is conjunct mars it's not the best thing to have okay for relationships and you will have very strong will power you know like if moon is your atma karak and you know you your mars is conjunct the moon you know then uh, you you will want to take revenge from anybody who torments you emotionally okay so this is one problem with mars it, it just wants to go and go and hit that person okay so whenever the atma karaka traits are disturbed in your life then mars will want to take revenge okay so this is something you need to be aware of and 
you need to be careful with that. Okay, and while doing this, there could be, you know, desire for independence, you know, or overcoming aggression, or you may channelize your energy in the wrong way, or there could be warfare or injury, you know, or impulsive actions. Okay, so this is something you need to take care. So this is a placement where you need to exercise caution and keep your mind under control. Otherwise, things can get out of control if Mars is with your Atma Karak, right? Now, Atma Karak Kanjang Mercury. This can mean you always look for intellectual refinement and maybe to some extent, you know, financial calculations in regards to that planet. So many times you will see, you know, <laughs> Sun and Mercury are conjunct, you know, in most of the horoscopes because they are very close. And suppose Sun is your Atma Karak, the planet with the highest degree. So, you know, Surya is with you know, Mercury now. So then it can mean that you know, you are kind of, yeah, you are too much obsessed with, you know, money and also name, fame, power, position. But your your uh, agenda of the sun, which is name, fame, power, position, is not just to get position or name, fame, power. It is also to earn money, okay? Or you might uh, have a, like, you know, a transactional relationship with your father, okay? Where, you know, your father is paying your bills or your father has a lot of assets and, you know, you, you are like, you know, kind of eyeing on them sometimes. <laughs> so, Mercury conjunct the Atma Karak, Mercury is a Rajasic planet, so it kind of, I won't say spoil, but it kind of, you know, brings some uh, materialistic flavor. The, the selflessness is gone, okay, so... You need to be aware of this because people can accuse you of being selfish, okay? So, for example, if your Saturn is Atma Karak and uh, Saturn is Kanjang Mercury, then it can happen that, you know, your, uh, your subordinates, your uh, helpers, your servants, they might accuse you of, you know, uh, not paying them well or something like that. Okay, it can happen at times, okay? So, therefore, try to, uh, even if you are business-minded, in regards to the Atma Karak when it's with Mercury, but try to be in your limits or else you can get a bad name in society. Okay. Atma Karak Kanjang Jupiter, this is highly beneficial. You are always seeking expansion. Okay. So, you know, if your Atma Karak is, let's say, you know, Venus and, you know, it's with Jupiter. So, now what is happening is, you are not only seeking Venusian traits in your life, you know, like beauty, opposite sex, creativity and all this, but you are trying to look beyond that. Oh, Jupiter shows what is beyond. So now you are trying to go beyond, you know, help other people, be more spiritual, you know, try to see each other, uh, your spouse uh, spiritually, okay? If Jupiter and Moon, Moon is your Atmaka, Jupiter and Moon are together, you know, same thing with your mother, son, father, okay? So, therefore, this is a fantastic thing to have. And if you have this, congratulations, you are blessed. And uh, it will enhance your wisdom, spiritual growth and expansion in, in the areas of the Atma Karak. So, your journey will be focused on higher learning, you know, philosophy and dharma. There will be righteousness. And you will always want to take guidance in regards to your Atma Karak. Okay, so if Venus is your Atma Karak, conjunct Jupiter, you will always want to... Even if there are problems in your marriage, and that's marriage is very important to you, Venus is Atma Karak, but if it's with Jupiter, you are ready to hear good advice from those people in your family or friend circle who have a good marriage. Okay, so this is fantastic actually. So you are, you will seek expansion, you know, wisdom of knowledge and morality also. You know? So there will be positive karmic lessons, uh, though there can be excessive attachments to your beliefs or to you know, dogma in general. Okay, so... Try to be a bit open-minded and learn more if you have Jupiter conjunct your Atma Karak, all right? Now, Atma Karak conjunct your Venus. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is like, oh boy, just like Mercury, you know. Venus also adds Rajas, okay? So, let's take the other way around, you know, Jupiter. Jupiter is your Atma Karak and now Venus is the planet conjunct, okay? So, then what can happen is, now, wherever you are, like, you know, going to some spiritual community, you know, you are very bothered. What kind of prasad am I getting there? You know? Is the food tasty enough? You know? Is the location nice? Okay. Is the is the community people wearing nice perfumes? Okay. So, these kind of things could be there. If Guru is your Atma Karak and Venus is conjunct, okay. So, therefore, um, 
it's very important that you uh, you understand that this conjunction will force you to uh, look for you know themes of love, beauty, relationships. You know, um, Venus represents you know fine things. You know, like fine ring, fine dining. You know, fine vehicles, fine furniture. Everything fine. Okay. <laughs> So you will have a so you will want to focus on you know relationships, love, pleasure, aesthetics in regards to the Atma card, and uh, you will want to learn more about you know your desires, attachments, you know materialistic happiness. This can make you a bit more materialistic, and uh, you may struggle a bit to go towards spirituality. Okay, especially if Atma card is Jupiter and it is with Venus. Okay, so. Therefore, uh, you also you might have a desire to overindulge, okay? Especially I have seen people with uh, sun or moon as Atma Karak conjunct Venus. They have terrible family eating habits, okay? Like always eating the wrong things and, you know, getting into diseases, okay? So therefore, uh, if you have Venus conjunct your Atma Karak, then you need to be careful about overindulgence, okay? Number... Then, number seven, Atma Kara conjunct Saturn. All right. So, now, this is a bit difficult uh, situation. Not, not because it creates difficulties for you, but specifically what happens if your sun is Atma Kara and it is with Saturn. So, what happens is you are most likely to, you know, only observe forms in your father, okay, at times. So, father is very important. If sun is your Atma Kara, or fatherly figures or fatherly personalities or your father's impact in your life is like uh, huge. But what is happening now, you're only seeing faults, okay? So if Saturn is with your Atma Karak, try not to uh, obsess over that person's fault. You know, Venus Atma Karak with Saturn, you know, you are finding faults with your spouse, okay, all the time. So therefore, you may also on the good side, you know, if Saturn is well-placed, then you may be very dutiful towards your spouse, okay? If Venus is your Atma Karak, conjunct Saturn especially, you know, or Moon, then uh, towards your mother, of course, okay? So, therefore, uh, you need to understand that, you know, if uh, Saturn is conjunct your Atma Karak, you, you will have this tendency to find faults, but if it is well-placed, then do things because of your duty without expecting anything back in return, okay? This is imperative. And now you could be a bit serious in regards to that. Where there could be seriousness, there could be discipline, there could be sense of duty, there could be delays, hardships, you know, obstacles also. And you might require patience, perseverance, all this, okay? So you will need to learn endurance, you know, like detachment, for example. And you may also feel that, you know, things are limited for you, okay? And there could be karma related to, you know, authority figures. Uh, discipline or a lack, lack of responsibility. So you may be also careless at times. You may procrastinate or not. Okay, so therefore, uh, you need to understand that all the typical Saturnian traits will play out with the Atma Karak, okay? Number eight, if Atma Karak is conjunct Rahu, okay, so if Rahu is conjunct your Atma Karak, then this will bring never-ending cravings. <laughs> this Mercury is your Atma Karak, Kanjang Rahu. It's like, you know, going on earning money and like, no, nothing wrong in earning money, but you, that's like, you are doing it so bad that you are quitting everything else. <laughs> so, whichever is your Atma Karak, if it is Kanjang Rahu, you will have a tendency to make that all in all in your life. So, you will think, oh, if this is there, everything is there. If that is not there, my life is finished, okay? And it can give you a lot of tamasic desires, you know, like envy, hatred, and all this, you know, like, yeah, it could be anything. Like, you know, for example, Venus Rahu together and Venus is your Atma Karak. You know, you are, yeah, you are kind of hateful towards your spouse or you have more tendency to cheat, you know, or, you know, yeah, watch adult material in the, in the internet. So these things could happen, okay? So... <laughs> And you will always want to break norms of society, you know. So if Venus is out of dark and with Rahu, you will always see that you will uh, not like uh, to just marry somebody from your own culture or religion, okay. You may have this uh, fancy idea that, you know, oh, marriages should be, you know, within different countries, communities and castes, okay. Then only it's good, okay. So therefore, 
in general, there could be, you know, illusions, obsessions, or there could be over ambition there. As I said, you know, making it all in all. So therefore, uh, try to find balance and uh, try to go towards spirituality also. And you may have a tendency to deceit others or uh, manipulate others, okay, because of your unfulfilled desires, okay. So wherever Rahu is, you need to understand your desire will never be fulfilled there, 100%. It may be 99, it may be 99.9 .9 or 99.99, but never 100% because that's the trait of Rahu. Because whenever a desire is fulfilled, it will take you to the next desire. So it's like a never-ending uh, ladder, you know, where you are just going, going. <laughs> Last but not the least, if your Atmakara is conjunct Ketu, you may sometimes feel, what the hell am I doing in this life? <laughs> what is all this? You know, like, um, is everything worth it? Okay, so this works for any planet, but specifically in regards to Atmakara, okay? Like, you may feel, oh, what is this? You know, you, you always kind of keep feeling out of place, okay? Like Venus Ketu, Venus Atmakara, you'll feel, you know, something is wrong in your marriage, okay? Or, you know, maybe it's, it does not feel right, okay? <laughs> and only you can understand that. There's no person in the entire world who can understand this, okay? So, therefore, if Ketu is your, uh, Ketu is the plan, conjunct your Atmakara, then don't think that uh, everything is abnormal, but you need to understand that Things may not unfold itself immediately now. But you have to be patient. You know, gradually you will be able to see what others are doing, what people are doing. So, if you do this, then you know, after some time, you know, when you reach some maturity, you will realize that, you know, yes, yes, I should, I should also uh, try to see the world not just from my perspective, also from the perspective of others. Maybe because if I don't, then I'm missing something out, okay? So if you have Ketu with your Atma card, then understand that you might need to take guidance from somebody just like if Atma card is Jupiter or with Jupiter, even then this applies as I said. But specifically with Ketu, don't forget to take advice whenever required. Alright, thank you very much for listening and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below and website below for personalized consultations. God is there with you. All the time, just look to him and you'll find him for sure. Jai Siyaram.